Hey everyone, welcome back to another Trans Chats video. I already have a video on online dating. It was like my third Trans Chats video, I think. As a trans woman, a single trans woman, I'm on a lot of dating apps, uh, just basically looking to try and make friends, meet people, etc. And I've tried out a lot of dating apps and <laughs> I wanted to kind of touch on which ones are better for trans women in my experience. So without further ado, let's just get right into this video. Yeah, right now on my phone, I have OkCupid, Grinder, Plenty of Fish, Blender, and Bumble. So I have five dating apps and I kind of go on them like every once in a while to chat to people with people I don't meet anybody because I don't have any luck but um I like them for just chatting you know when you're bored you just open up start a conversation with somebody and that's basically what I use dating apps for but so let me just go through them let's start with OkCupid a lot of people don't seem to know about OkCupid but it's actually like a pretty decent app it has a kind of Tinder-esque feature where you can swipe left and right on people and match with them. What I like about OkCupid is we can pick I am a and that gives you like so many options for your sexual orientation and then it'll ask you who you're interested in so you can pick men, women, or everyone and you can expand that so it has like you can pick who you're looking for like and then it, it says include me in searches for men or women you can pick one but yeah so that's what I like about OkCupid you can really customize your gender and sexual orientation and who you're looking for the matching system is kind of strange on OkCupid because basically when you swipe on somebody they disappear until they swipe back on you so you can and you can also send people messages uh, who you've not matched with but you won't be able to see the person's profile or message them again unless they respond. I don't really find that there's a ton of local people on there. I think because not a lot of people use this app. This app was really popular when I was in like middle school, high school, and now it doesn't seem to be as popular as some of the other apps. <clears throat> but that is OkCupid. I haven't had any really bad experiences on there. So I would probably recommend it for you to try out if you are a trans person looking to meet friends or date or hook up, etc. Next, let's go to Grindr. So I downloaded Grindr for the Grindr Does My Makeup video, which I will link up here in the iCards for you guys to check out. Basically, Grindr is a gay targeted dating app, um, but they have expanded to include trans people in their app. So basically with a grinder, you can pick your gender and your pronouns and they give you some options of how you identify. So you have man, cis man, trans man, or you can customize it, woman, cis woman, trans woman, or you can customize it, non-binary, non-conforming, queer, cross-dresser, or you can customize that as well. And then your pronouns. You have he, him, his, she, her, hers, they, them, theirs, or you can customize your pronouns as well. So I'm listed as a trans woman, obviously, on Grindr, and I do get a lot of messages, but it's definitely targeted towards hooking up. It's a hookup app for sure. 99.8% of the people in there are probably looking to hook up at that very moment. So a lot of the messages you get are asking you to come over, like, right that second, uh, or a lot of, like x-rated photos um that's pretty much my experience with the grinder i've had a couple of decent conversations with people but for the most part it's just a lot of people looking for hookups and if you're into that then by all means you might enjoy grinder uh i've definitely had some which is you would think that gay men would be more open-minded but i've definitely had some gay men approach me on grinder and uh tell me that i'm not welcome on there that trans women are like trying to creep up on gay men or something I don't really know but I've had a couple of negative experiences on Grindr but overall it hasn't been too bad it's just a lot of naked people next let's go into plenty of fish plenty of fish is a 
frustrating app because first of all you can't even list yourself as bisexual or anything like that <clears throat> you either can pick i believe you can pick that you're interested in men or women that's it and i like to set mine to both because then I can, like, I'm just kind of looking to meet people. I am attracted to men, but I mean, I don't care if my friends are female. I get along with females. And so I like to set up apps so that I can see both genders, so I can match with both genders and have conversations. But Plenty of Fish does not allow you to do that. And you can't even make a separate account and have, like, one for looking for men, one looking for women, because they will close down your other account a second it gets reported or... Um, if they realize that you have the same photos or it's the same person, that has happened to me before. I have had a lot of negative experiences on Plenty of Fish. I'm very open about being trans on there. It's in my profile, but people don't read that. And then they get really butthurt when they find out, um, which is not the app's problem, really. It's just the users on the app. Um, I also had my account reported because I'm transgender on there. And I've had my account deleted because, like, the only thing I did wrong, or wrong, like, I didn't do anything wrong. I was really nice to everyone I talked to. The only thing is that someone got mad that I was transgender, and they reported me, and then Plenty of Fish deleted my account. This was, like, a couple years ago, and I probably would not recommend Plenty of Fish. Blender is a very confusing app because there are three or four different apps that all use the in same interface and just link together. So I believe there's like Hot or Not, Badu, Blender, and I think there's one other one, but like people will message you think being like, oh, like what are you doing on Badu or Hot or Not, but you're using Blender. There's a lot of local people on here. They have like a section where you can look at people that are nearby. <clears throat> um, there's also a feature that if you turn it on, I believe when you turn it off, it tells you like when you bumped into people and it doesn't like update right away. It'll update like a couple hours later. So for instance, say I go to Toronto for a day, walk around, a couple hours later, it'll pop up saying that I bumped into these people in this area. So that's kind of a cool feature, but could also be a kind of weird feature because it has shown people like that they bumped into me near my house. Um, I haven't had too many bad experiences on here. You can't customize your profile at all, like with your gender or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> you can pick your sexual orientation they have bisexual, lesbian, open-minded, and straight, and gender, I'm pretty sure they only had male or female. And the last app I have is Bumble. So they have Bumble Date, they have Bumble Date, they have Bumble BFF, and they have Bumble Biz. So if you wanted to grow your network with people nearby, it's for networking and like meeting people professionally. If you want to just find friends, you can look at the BFF one, or if you want to find a date, you can go on Bumble Date. The woman has to message the man first, and I researched how that works with a lesbian or someone who is a female looking for female, or a man looking for a man on a Bumble, <clears throat> and basically that feature is waived, so you can both send the first message. Either of you can send the first message. There's also this feature where they have 24 hours to respond once you message them, and once the 24 hours is up, it automatically unmatches you. There's a lot of local people on here. I haven't had too many negative experiences. Um, it's a fine app. <laughs> Again, you can't customize your gender or anything like that, but it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I would prefer, I would say probably OkCupid would be the best if it was more popular, but I don't find a ton of people on there, but I do still enjoy that app. And that's probably the best out of the apps that I have. I would recommend OkCupid. Um, there are definitely a lot of people on there, just not as many as like Tinder or anything like that. Speaking of Tinder, obviously I had Tinder because I did a video, up, I'll link up here, called Tinder Does My Makeup, which I got that idea from Glamagore. But basically, I ended up deleting my Tinder because I think it was like three times my account got reported. So basically they don't tell you if your account gets reported or anything, um, but if it gets reported a certain number of times, it'll pop up with like a thing saying that you have been reported too many times and they've sent you warnings and you didn't do, stop doing whatever you were doing to get reported. So now your account is on hold until they can review your account and decide if they're going to let you stay on the app or not. And basically this has happened to me three times on that app and... The first time my account was locked for like a day and then I was back up and running 
Same thing the second time. Even though I don't do anything that's against the rules or anything on Tinder, I literally just get reported. Like, people will literally tell me that they reported me because they were angry that I was transgender. The last time, my account was on lock for a week and a half, I believe. And, you know, I emailed them. I was like, listen, here's the situation. This guy got mad at me because I was transgender. He reported me. Now my account's unlocked. I never got a warning or anything. Even though it says you've been warned too many times, they do not send warnings. They'll just lock your account all of a sudden. And for some reason, like, they just kept responding, being like, oh, yeah, like, no problem. We'll look into it, like, ASAP. Like, another week went by. My account was still locked. I emailed them again. I was like, listen, like, I was literally only reported because I'm transgender. You can look. I didn't break any of the rules or anything. And they were like, yeah, we'll get to it. <clears throat> nothing so I think I was locked up for like two weeks and then finally I just deleted it I sent them an email and I was like listen you know a lot of trans people use tinder it's a very very popular dating app you can actually choose your gender and everything on there and you're like I think they have a list of genders you can choose or you can make your own but obviously I feel like they don't actually care about that I think they just did that to get more people to use their app obviously that's what they're trying to do is get as much income as possible from this app <clears throat> and I feel like they don't actually care about the trans people or non-binary people that are using the app they just want people using the app so I tried to explain the situation like three times to them and nothing happened so after like two weeks I just deleted the app and I sent them an email like listen like I was reported because I was transgender I asked you guys to look into it and like unlock my account because this happens to so many trans people on Tinder. Their accounts get locked or deleted because they're trans and Tinder doesn't do anything about it. So I was just like, listen, like, I'm not gonna be using your app anymore. I'm definitely not gonna be recommending your app ever again. Um, or I don't think I ever did recommend it, but I definitely don't recommend it now. Uh, yeah, so basically I do not recommend Tinder. I love Tinder. Like I think it's so fun to just swipe left and right. I get a lot of matches on there. I get a lot of messages on there. Um, but I just refuse to use it now because I feel like they don't actually protect their trans users in any way. I don't think that it's fair that just because I'm transgender someone can report me and my account can get deleted. Um, I was looking on Twitter and like tons and tons and tons of trans people have the same problem where their accounts are just locked and deleted because someone reported them because they came out to them as trans and it's just ridiculous. There are some trans specific apps. I don't know them off the top of my head, but I've been on a couple of them in the past. Just, just avoid those. I do not recommend them in my personal experience because a lot of it is just men who fetishize trans women and are just looking to fulfill that fetish. If you're okay with that, then by all means go ahead. I personally don't like being fetishized by men and it makes me really uncomfortable and I just don't want to partake in that so I avoid any trans specific dating apps. If there's any other dating apps you guys want me to check out let me know down below and I could do like a part two but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My dog's snoring I apologize if you can hear that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all the next one. Bye guys.